Okay, let's try another efficiency problem. Um, we've got someone climbing the stairs, Adam's climbing the stairs, and it's 180 meters high. So that's pretty tall, that's like a 60 story building. His mass is 60 kilograms, and his efficiency is 20%. And what we want to know is, how much energy does it take to climb the stairs, and how much energy does Ad did Adam's body require? That means there's two energies at work here. What we have is Adam climbed up the stairs. That took a certain amount of energy. But his body's not perfectly efficient. So it's going to take more energy in his body. His body's going to burn more energy to get that energy out. So the energy out is represented by what Adam did. And what did Adam do? He climbed up the stairs and gained gravitational energy. And what you got to realize is the work he did was equal to the gravitational energy. If Adam's at the top of the stairs and has a thousand joules of gravitational energy, then it must have been a thousand joules of work that he did to get up there. So to figure out how much uh, it took to climb the stairs, I got to figure out his gravitational energy. Adam's gravitational energy is mgh, 60 times 180, sorry, 60 times 9.8 times 180 is 1.06 times 10 to the 5 joules. So the answer to A, it took that much energy to climb the stairs. That's how much work he did. Now the question is, how much energy did Adam's body require? Well, it was 20% efficient. So it's going to take more energy to get that out. This represents 20% of what? So I use the formula, the efficiency formula. Efficiency is energy out divided by energy in times 100%. So, the energy out is what he got out of this, which is this one. The energy in is what he put in, which is a greater amount. So this is the energy out. So we have 20% equals 1.06 times 10 to the 5, divided by the energy in times 100%. Now, I think most of you know 20% is, is 0.2. But what, the way you get that is you say, well, you divide by 100%, divide by 100 and the percent, the percent, and you get 0 0.2 is 1.06 times 10 to the 5 over the energy in. I rearrange that. The energy in is 5.3 times 10 to the 5 joules. So there's my answer. It took that much energy. It was more energy than he got out of it because he's only 20% efficient. Now, if you look over here, I have an energy bar here. And this energy bar on it says 210 calories. So the question is, does this energy bar have enough energy to supply this energy that he needs to climb the stairs? So what I'm going to do is I first got to figure out how much energy does the energy bar have. And then I'm just going to compare it to this. So the energy bar, the energy in the bar is 210 calories. Now, the way we do calories on food, we sometimes call them food calories, is because it's really not 210 calories. It's 210 kilocalories, or 210,000 calories. And then I got to turn that into joules. The way you do that, you can leave it in food calories, or kilocalories, and multiply by 4,200. So if I multiply food calories, or what's written on the bar, by 4,200 I get the number of calories. So the energy in the bar, 210 times 4,200, 8.82 times 10 to the 5 joules. So it looks like it has more energy than I need to climb those stairs. 